What's going on? Back plugged in again. What's your boy, the Prophet Man? And today, y'all know what is cooking, man. Y'all see what we have as far as the title. So today, we're going to be talking about my speculation for what I believe is going to be the mid month for August. So, good news. Historically speaking, August mid month doesn't ever have anything good. There's always some premium units. So, like last year, we got the uh, Stark and the Bodagon, and then the August before that, we got, uh, I believe, like, was it Yodoichi and Kisuke? But regardless, uh, it was a, you know, uh, premium banner, and it wasn't anything that's like super, super high priority, which for us as players makes like that's really the best because we definitely need like a break. Our orbs need some time to recuperate, especially now that we have essentially another like bracket of characters right like we have the safwi the you know beyond bankai captains right then we also now have the new version of cap or the you know the new characters right like the resurrection i guess or the remakes the remakes of the old thousand blower characters like you have bog chair eisen as well as one arm yamamoto so now we have three different classifications of exclusive banner and that's not even saying if burn the witch comes back with anything we don't really know but we we don't know that there won't be another burn the witch banner but one thing that you can bet is that if we do have another burn the witch banner it's going to be insane so as far as potential banners that we have coming up we have a uh, renewed thousand blood war beyond bankai captains Brand new Thousand Year Blood War, meaning like characters that have never entered the game, and we're expecting those to come in the game like October, pretty much when the you know uh, anime airs, right? And then Burn the Witch. So that's four classifications of exclusive characters that we have to be on the lookout for. Now you might be saying, I don't really care about Burn the Witch, whatever, right? But you definitely care about Beyond Bankai. You definitely care about certain reworked. Uh, thousand blower characters and you definitely care about brand new thousand blower characters like gerard you know um as not cool gay characters that we have not received yet you know even if they do like another version they could still do like another new version of you know you have bach or whatever right so we definitely have a lot to be looking out for the good things right now right the good things are that End of year is going to be something crazy. We pretty much already know that, but that's five months away, right? So you can save 15,000 orbs from now to then. That, that's from zero. So um, also we have pole selection. And pole selection, if you guys don't know, is a banner that is similar to the anniversary format, except generally like better, more guaranteed steps. But it will be a banner that we as a community vote for the filler. So... Like, I'm not going to take anything away from K-Lab or I'm not going to assume that they're going to keep doing everything like, you know, as good as they've done in past years. But what I will say is that in past years, we've had both of the anniversary characters selectable. So this year it will be Ichigo and Uryu. And then there's like a selection of all the seasonals that came out and the seasonals and premium characters that came out within this year. So characters like Lunar Rukia, Super Pot Grimjap, now Super Pot Momo, uh, Droplet in Potion Isane, you know, like, uh, no, yeah, then we got Super Pot Nelio. So, those five characters that I named, so you got Super Pot Nelio, Super Pot Momo, uh, Droplet in Potion Isane, right? Then you have Lunar Rukia and CS Okior, right? Like, those five seasonals you you can almost bet that they are definitely going to be in the post selection banner then so you take those five you add two more which is ichigo and Uryu, right and then the other like you know five characters are going to be more variable right we got some really powerful units and it just depends on what people are going to vote for but the characters i just named will be on the banner okay ichigo Uryu, super pot momo super pot neliel uh, Droplet, Isane, we're also more likely going to get that Toshiro, that's uh, potions plus droplets, 
And then maybe if we're smart, then we'll vote for the Nozomi, who is regular Link's Out Potions as well as Droplets too. So um, those characters we do know, but post-election is literally December 25th, okay? And they do post-election as like the biggest, biggest trap banner before the end of year banner. And the end of year banner has really always had some crazy units. Um, we got characters like uh, Daddy Ichigo and Mama Rukia. They came as end of year. And I don't want to misquote anybody else, but just know that we've gotten some incredibly insane characters for end of year historically. So, and post selection is before end of year so that you won't have orbs for the new best banner, right? Or for the new best characters, right? That's essentially what is going what what is looking like. So make sure it is very very important that you guys save your orbs, stack your orbs up, okay? Because between Safwi, Thousand Blood War, you know, potential burn the witch or even a burn the witch rerun. Like if they rerun burn the witch with Bruno X Miss Nini, X Miss Noel, and the two OG ones, right? Like that's two super potion characters, and then one of the best GQ characters in the entire game. So definitely, you know, that's going to be something that a lot of people are waiting on. Some people are only missing Nini or Noel or whatever, right? This Toshiro, this Nozomi, I think they should be voted in as well as this Isane because they're going to get you so much value when it comes to like just farming, right? Just farming out stuff. But yeah, most of these characters. These three, this guy, this Toshiro, yeah, yeah, you can definitely bet that they're going to be in there. Uh, I don't think any other uh, potion characters beyond that will make it in. There could be a few maybe that I'm missing, but most of them were on post-selection last year, and they're already like over a year old. Nini Noel will not qualify for post-selection because they're exclusive, but yeah, so my prediction is that it's going to be just to get back on topic, my prediction is that July or that August mid-month is going to be a premium banner. I think they might have something like potions or droplets because like we got Kisuke, who was like the first premium, you know, potion character two years ago for August mid-month, right? So, you know, pretty much the same type of deal. But just know that if it's not a character with double potions or with potions and droplet or regular link slot potion, the super link slot potions, I'm not summoning. I'm not touching the banner whatsoever. And that's what I advise for you guys to do as well. Keep in mind that we do get another choose a six star in December as well, right? So there's going to be a lot of characters, especially ones that I just named, that will definitely be on the choose a six star for December, okay? So you're going to give yourself multiple chances at these type of characters and basically just put yourself in position, okay? Just, just think about it like this. If they don't help you grind, if they're not going to help you beat content that you can't beat or that you're struggling to beat right now, if you already have that attribute or killer covered, don't summon. If there are premium characters, don't summon. Because those premium characters are going to come back and you want the usefulness. You want that intangibility of like, you know, hey, I didn't summon on this character, right? I didn't throw my orbs down the trash. And someday this character will be a filler on a common banner. So when it's once they're a common banner character, then you're gonna be getting way too many of them, right? So why would you want to throw away a thousand or however many orbs that could go towards getting you new exclusive characters rather than getting you character that you're gonna summon for now and then in five months you're gonna be like oh my god i hate pulling this character i already have them five of five or four or five or whatever even if you have them one of five and they're just not the best character or you just don't want to use them you know you're just don't summon it's as simple as that um also another quick thing we have solo banners coming up for the thousand and blood war characters that just got re-ran Aizen will be first, then Yamamoto after him, and then Yuha Bak is after that. I would definitely say for whatever you're prioritizing, at this point, go in on the solo banner. So if you've done past seven steps, if you're 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 orbs, and you got, you know, let's say you got no banner characters, right? Whatever the, the banner character you want the most, I would go in on a solo banner, right? But let's say you got two characters, you got one, or you just didn't get the one that you wanted the most 
as long as you got one or two of the characters from the main banner, then you should feel very, very good going on a solo banner because that's going to give you the chance to get all three of the banner characters. Me, myself, personally, I did not get you a Bach, but I will not be going in for a solo banner because my PvP team is already solid and I don't need to use orbs on him right now. I will say... Maybe I'll do like two steps, the two discount kind of steps on this solo banner, because this is what's going to happen. I have a Max Trent in a Yamamoto, which means I'm never summoning another orb on this main banner again. So if I don't get Yuhabak on his solo banner, I probably will never get this Yuhabak until like two years or so once he's finally getting, you know, put in a filler pool for like a thousand lower banner or something. But I'm perfectly fine with not having this character for right now because my pvp team is already very good i don't really need to spend the extra resources but um as i said my anticipation is that we're going to get a premium banner so your orbs are going to be safe we have Sinkaimo coming up in a couple days so i definitely know we're going to be having a couple people a good amount of people going back in on the banner once they get their Sinkaimo orbs but i definitely wish you ladies and gentlemen the best of luck if you guys have any questions or concerns about you know what should you prioritize or what character do i think is coming next stuff like that make sure you wait in the comment section make sure if you guys are looking for a place to play co-ops and to hang out chill get some more information you join the Discord link down in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. The next time, I do love y'all.